Greetings, compassion friends and supporters. I am glad to share with you a little of what we have been focused on this last year and how we are embracing the present and preparing for the future. It is over two years now since the world entered a global pandemic state. For many developing countries and communities in poverty, the economic and social impacts of the pandemic continue to destabilize lives and livelihoods. In fact, we know from the data that global poverty has increased because of this pandemic. This means that over 190 million more people have been pushed into economic desperation. It does not take much for a family to go from being okay to becoming destitute very quickly. Our field staff have worked tirelessly to ensure the safety and care of over 2 million registered children and youth. Of course, this has been done in collaboration with the 8,500 church partners in 26 program countries. Since the pandemic began, Compassion has provided over 7.8 million food packages to families, distributed over 12 million sanitation kits, and provided 2.2 million healthcare interventions. These provisions were made so that children and families are sustained towards resiliency and eventual recovery. Of course, COVID-19 is not the only challenge our world has faced. Conflict, social unrest, and natural disasters continue to emerge in different regions of the world. These threaten the safety of children and families. Compassion immediately stepped in to help over 17,000 participants that were directly impacted by the Haiti earthquake on August last year. Food and water distribution were prioritized, as were medical interventions and trauma counseling. We are currently in a phase of helping families and churches rebuild earthquake-proof housing and shelters. And in Eastern Africa, we continue to support the efforts of our church partners to respond to emerging food and medical needs that have been occasioned by conflict. In December, a super typhoon hit the Philippines and millions of people continue to rely on relief and aid for water and shelter. I ask you to continue praying for these countries and communities. Crises also are an opportunity for innovation. This is why I'm excited that at Compassion, we are redesigning our programmatic approaches so that we can advance child and youth outcomes. Once again, I really would like to thank you for your continued partnership in this ministry. I ask that the Lord will continue to kindly look upon you and to bless your every giving and prayer and all your endeavors. Thank you.